What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So guys, I came across this wonderful article on Madame Noir. And let me just say this. Madame Noir, although I don't agree with um, you know many of the uh, content on the site, um, and it's not made for me anyway, it is a well put together site on the behalf of black women. I believe it's one of the better ones out there. So I do have a lot of respect for them being organized, especially talking about issues of health and entertainment. But there is this article written by Danene Milner, which says, stop weaponizing black women's weight against our health. Now, of course, it's written by a woman who is, uh, as she says, 54 years old, five foot one and 173 pounds. And of course, she's saying that um, unlike some of the contemporaries her age, like Mary J. Blige or Jayla or Jada Pinkett, who are thin and muscular and put together, um, if she doesn't look like that, then she's falling off and, you know, on the verge of having a life threatening disease. OK, and basically she is tired of the public flogging to the same and as she calls it neanderthals who body shame lizzo and question her health or wealth uh what well, uh, well-being for being um you know for jokes all right and pretty much body shaming black women for what they look like all right she also discusses that you know people who are doing this sort of thing to black women such as lizzo they fail to realize that Black women themselves, women themselves are very conscious about what they look like, okay? That they already are talking about, you know, hey, we don't like our own bellies and things like that. And, and um, you know, and, and those sorts of things. But what was interesting about the article was that it wasn't like black men were the ones that were, you know, doing the body shaming. It appears that when she goes to the, the, the physician, that's the problem, okay? That... Her physicians are telling her how much she weighs. She weighs too much. That her weight a couple years ago triggered an, um, an automatic message from her insurance company, which told her to gently, uh, gently told her a nice way to start exercising, eat more fruits, veggies, sleep more. And pretty much, as she says, get some weight off her big behind or die of some awful disease. All right. And she also talks about that um, despite being five foot one, 173 pounds, um, she's healthy and her mother was skinny and died of a heart attack. OK, at age 62. So basically, she's tired of the body shaming and, it's, and her weight isn't the only thing to be the standard barometer of somebody's health. All right. Let me deal with this in a whole body shame community, because let me just say this. These women are entitled to their own opinion. The problem that I have it with it now is that now you're talking about physicians. It, it was it was one thing for you to say, black man, accept me for what I am. You know, accept me for who I am, my attitude. You even hear singers say that Mary J. Blige, accept me for my kids, those things. Okay, fine. Now all the uh, you know, like it hasn't working well for black women. Uh in, in that regard because brothers are getting married less but okay fine but now you want to take that attitude towards people who get i mean they do this for a living the young woman or the woman in, in, in that's right written this article i don't believe that she is a qualified health professional so basically you're upset with your physicians for telling you about your weight when it it seems like you know if that was the case and you didn't want them to do it about your weight, and it seems like you're hearing it from more than one physician. You're hearing it from maybe a family doctor, uh, also a, a OBGYN. You, you're technically obese, but healthy as F because of you know, these other things. The, the reality is this, is that we are, we're, what I'm listening to and I'm hearing from some of these ladies is that you can't tell them anything. That's the issue. So not only are you gonna tell black men what to do, which is a given, now you want to go in and tell insurance companies, some of these ladies, and you want to tell physicians what to do. Let's just keep even getting bolder. Let's tell them that they don't know what they're talking about. 
So just because I'm clinically obese, in her words, doesn't mean anything. And then this is why people just start with certain people like this. You have to ask the question, do you have any control in what your health is? You seem to be a person that if you really don't want them to send you these things, your insurance company told you to exercise. And she does say she exercises, but she said that they don't even believe her because apparently they don't, the doctor doesn't believe she's making any progress. Why are you mad at the doctor? It's almost like me. You know, let's just use me for an example. Um, I have a financial advisor. I'm going to the financial advisor, be it Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Merrill Lynch. And my goal is to use this financial institution, Vanguard or whatever, to build wealth. I'm paying them to do this, right? And then I'm not building wealth. Well, how can they measure the wealth? By what's in the investments? How much money am I putting in? That's how we can measure it. So now if I'm not making the results from what I'm saying I'm supposed to be doing, they're going to question it. Well, look, you're paying me to do a job and you're not doing what we're asking you to do, but you're wanting me to, to measure. And I'm trying to tell the financial advisors who they pick stocks for a living. They pick index funds for a living. They pick bonds for a living. I mean, here I am bold enough. I have the unmitigated gall to tell these professional people that, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of you telling me about this advice. I'm completely okay with where I'm at and I'm building wealth my way even though I'm asking you for your assistance. So what? I'm not putting in enough money into my index fund. So what? And, and it seems absolutely absurd. Okay. And, and now you're seeing why this particular attitude. And if you're, and if you're a lady and you have this kind of attitude, I mean, it's, it's almost clear why somebody would want to stay away from somebody like that. And then these are the same kind of people. When you see black men doing their own thing, dating somebody out of the community. Here you have this person or somebody who thinks like them upset with black men because they've made a conscious decision. They don't want to put up with this anymore. Literally, you have people going into doctor's offices, arguing with doctors, arguing with people from insurance companies. And you're mad because you're the one that says that you're obese, but you're tired of people commenting on being obese but it's not like you're talking about people who are just random people. I mean, you mentioned Lizzo, but it's not like somebody's coming up to you and be like, hey, you know, you're, you know, you're fat as hell. That's not what this article is about. You're upset with health professionals who are trying to keep you healthy and you're arguing with them. Good luck on, you know, having relationships with people who think like this. And this is the kind of behavior that black men are complaining about. Like, what do you do with somebody like her? I can tell you what you do. You try to avoid people like this at all costs. It doesn't make any sense. Literally, the guy is doing, or woman is doing their job. The insurance is doing their job. And you're mad at them when you have every control over your situation. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea D. Jackson. Back at it again. Another the episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out.